And so I thought about this for a very long time, and, and, and I was trying to see, well, what would be my estimate of a sustainable uh, human population? So that's the last 3,000 or 3,100 years of human population. And this first bar is the beginning of the Industrial Revolution. Okay? And the second one would be the modern era of modern industrial world. So if I were to extrapolate the population growth and then turn it down and saturate, uh, then today we might have two and a half billion people uh, living on the planet, uh, not eight. Um, but that's a debat debatable result for the following reason. So suppose that we had two and a half billion people, but this would require the 1800s life expectancy, lifestyle, slavery, and conflict. Okay? Average life expectancy in the 1800s worldwide was 32 years. Average life expectancy in 2015 was 71 years. So if you ratio the life expectancies, that brings down uh, this number to one billion people at today's life expectancy. And again, in 1800s, the world GDP per capita was $600, power, purchasing power parity, so equalized dollars, and it was 8,000 roughly in 2010. But again, I have to discount the silly economics. You know, the economists will tell you that the world is brought out of poverty because the income has e uh, increased so much. But that's, that's an idiotic statement to make, and don't believe it. Because, let's say, if you are in a village in Ghana, you walked behind your hut, you picked up fruit from your orchard and, and vegetables from your plot, and you lived very happily without any cash. So you were dirt poor, but you had clean water and you had good food. Today, in the same village, you have a store which sells Coca-Cola and potato chips. And to buy them, the local population has to get income from people working as taxi cab drivers in New York or wherever. And on the surface of it, they are much richer, but they're not. They're actually much poorer. So let's suppose that this factor of 11 or 12, whatever, uh, really, uh, if you account for the environmental services, is only a factor of two. Well, that brings us down to, to 500 million people at, a, at, a, at an average world um, lifestyle. Okay? That's very far from the Euro Western European or American lifestyles. But we don't have to have wars and strife, so I guess the final, and we can squabble about this, maybe it's 300 million, I don't care. So a factor of two, so it's 250 million people. So. In that simple estimate, the Earth can carry less people, fewer people, than the current population of the United States. Okay? So, so that, that's what it is. And, and, and according to this calculation, we have overshot by a factor of 30 using fossil fuels.